No. Can you not? Thanks. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, if you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. Um, this is going to be more of a channel message. This is just like a download that I had last night. I wanted to share it with you guys, so it will be a little different than my regular message. Um, I don't have any cards. I also, this isn't a charm reading. This is just a channel message reading. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a visual. <laughs> so it was something to look at on camera. Um, but anyways, okay. Um, also, just want to let you guys know, join membership if you'd like to. It's the join button below the video or in the description box. I do have a PayPal link in the description box as well. If you guys ever feel guided to donate, I really do appreciate it a lot. Um, and then also I do have the Amazon wishlist as well. And for those that do complain about my camera, I did add a camera stand and a table um, to the wishlist too. If you guys ever want to donate those, um, if you do choose to donate, please donate the table first. <laughs> Just because this is a soft thing that I do readings on right now and it won't hold up like a camera stand or something. It'll just fall over, especially with Luca knocking things around. So anyways, I want to let you guys know I did add this to the list finally. I know a lot of people suggested it. So, okay. Uh, we're going to get into this though. So basically, um, yeah, I was sleeping last night or like, yeah, and this came as like a dream, but this was not, uh, my typical kind of dream. It felt very like, I knew it was a message, um, I have to say. And also like, you guys know that like I hear messages most of the time I hear things. I also do see things as well, but I hear, I'm more like clairaudient than clairvoyant. Like I hear a lot more. Um, but this message was very clear and it was like hearing, seeing this whole message. Um, basically what happened was like, I was in like a house last night and it was not, it didn't look like my house. I was just in a house. It was empty. It seemed kind of gloomy, kind of dark. Um, and then I had my phone with me and my phone started First off, like, I had this feeling, though, in my dream of, like, negativity. Like, I felt like something was wrong. I didn't feel good. Um, and so, anyways, I had my phone, and then I got a phone call. And so I went to answer it, and it was just quiet for a minute. And then it was, like, what did it say? It, it was just, like, my name. Someone just said my name. So if you guys don't know my name, Sam, they said Sam. And then I was, but they said it very quietly, kind of eerie, and it was a woman's voice. Um... And then she was just like, Sam. And then she just like hung up and that was it. And then a few minutes later, she called again and was like something like, why did you do this? Or like, um, I can't believe you would do this or something like that. And then she hung up again and it was very creepy, the f these phone calls. And like, I was getting freaked out and whatever this house was. And so I went and like locked the doors. I was like locking doors. Um, and I was trying to maybe call someone about this because I was getting this feeling like someone was watching me. Um, and then this person called again and then they were just like, wow, I can't believe you would do this. Like, and it was just getting more emotional on the phone, um, and more creepy. And they just kept hanging up. And then finally I like can see out the window of this house. This house had like a bunch of windows on one side where I could see out of, um, kind of like down some stairs or something. Like there were like stairs outside. Um, almost like this could have been in like, uh, like a condominium or something. Like, I don't know if this was like. Um, multi-level building or something but not too many levels like just a couple it felt like but anyways okay um I saw a person coming up and they were looking like real creepy it was a woman again and in my vision this woman had like long black hair um I don't know if that's like for everyone it's just like that's how she was coming across very like negative dark energy is what I was getting from this woman too um, and she comes up and, like, somehow gets into this house. I don't even know how. She just, like, appeared in the house. Um, and, guys, when I tell you, like, this was not a normal dream. Like, I would tell you, like, if, I wouldn't tell you guys my normal dreams if I felt like this was for me. This was, like, extreme negative energy. Like, I have never felt it before. Like, it was just, like, I felt like I was, like, it wasn't just, like, fighting as in, like, someone fighting me or something or trying to hurt me physically. It was, like... A spiritual attack is what it felt like um it was like very spiritual because I remember in my dream I was being like I don't know why I started saying like love always wins or like love and light like it was like I was trying to call something in or something because it was like this dark energy was just like overtaking me it was like this like black purplish cloud it was really weird I don't know this is starting to sound crazy but I swear guys um 
And I could tell in this dream, this is like the karmic person that we've been talking about is strongly what I feel. Um, someone here has been doing like some sort of black magic is all I'm going to say, like straight up. Like that's exactly what I'm getting from this. Um, that's like what it felt like in my dream. And it felt like in my dream, it was like a wall of light was like going against like a wall of dark. Like it was almost like if I have like spear guides or whatever they say, like it was like they were pushing against this person's negative energy and like trying to push back on it and like protect me because I feel like, you know, obviously when you're like a light worker, you're very protected. Like you do good things, good things happen to you. That's how I look at it. So anyways, this person though, like, yeah, was creepy and they were just like this negative energy pushing towards me and it was like closing in on me. But ultimately, I don't know how it happened, but like the light, one i guess in my dream and um i saw this person like the cloud around them got smaller and then like i don't know this person like became like they were almost floating too and it was really creepy looking but like they started to like almost freeze like um like they started to fall asleep in a way they couldn't speak like they couldn't talk like all parts of them were just like they couldn't move anymore like they were almost frozen but i could see them slowly like getting like that like it wasn't like ice it was just like their whole body just start, slowly stopped moving they stopped speaking and they were just like there floating like that was it it was very creepy um yeah and then after that it was like more like light came in like more it seemed like it was safer now and then i remember like someone showed up but i don't know who it was it was like either like family or like a mask on like we've been talking about like it was a man or someone that showed up because this person was now not in the way or something like there was something about this person being in the way they were blocking like other people from coming in um so yeah i don't i don't know that that's what happened in my dream and this is strongly giving me vibes of this person also like when they're when she was out the window for a little bit like it was just like this person was looking in through the window like they were just like creepily watching out the window before they came inside um so this is giving me strong like connections to what we've been talking about lately i strongly feel like there's some sort of like person trying to do some weird magic on this situation like i don't think it's working i think that's what my dream was trying to tell me but okay during the time that like this person <clears throat> had the negative energy like coming over me um i literally was hearing channel messages in my dream it was so weird i was hearing like uh demonic i heard satan satanic um and i've never heard messages like that ever before i don't like to uh, I usually don't even mention really horrible messages because I just don't like them. Um, but yeah, that's what I was hearing um, while this was happening. And I was like, this is super creepy. I literally woke up like so freaked out and I couldn't go back to sleep. That's why I posted to you guys because I was like, I need to post somewhere. <laughs> like, I'm freaking out. This was the weirdest dream. And I literally, literally felt like the energy. Like I can't even explain it. It was just like this negative feeling. It was not a normal dream. This was like, I could tell it was like spiritual, guys um so anyways yeah that was my message last night and then <clears throat> i just want to tell you guys that i know it's not my usual message but i feel like it means something it does mean like i i strongly feel like you know keep saying return to sender everything goes back like um negative energy is always going to come back on you so this person what i'm getting from this message is that like yeah actually i should mention this part too so you, you saw, like, I told you guys, like, how this person kind of, like, froze, like, they couldn't talk, they couldn't do anything, they were just floating there. It was almost like spirit was, like, t like, this was, like, ah, what's the word? I don't know. But spirit was stopping them. Like, they were saying, like, because you've done this, like, this is, like, what you're gonna get. Like, spirit didn't want to get to this point, but it's, like, they had to stop this person themselves, like, whatever this is. Um, and I almost feel like this is a warning to this person, whoever they are, that are, like, still stalking this masculine and not letting him go. Because in my dream, guys, also, this was because of a masculine. Like, I don't know where it was on the phone call, but she said it somewhere. Like, she was, it was because of another person. Like, she was jealous that I was, like, going to be hanging out with another person that she wanted to be with or something. Like, it was, like, that vibe or just it was the energy of it. Um, I knew it was to do with the readings. Um, but anyways, like what was I gonna say yeah so spirit is like I feel like spirit was like taking this person down like themselves and I almost feel like it's a warning for this person like they keep coming after this masculine like I don't want to say like I just I'm getting the vibe of something bad's gonna happen to them like because we've been hearing a lot about health issues and in my dream I was also hearing channel messages about someone's health as well and in terms of also guys I know I keep saying it I'm so sorry but like the car accident again I'm hearing something about that too 
Um, so I feel like it's like spirits warning to this person, like you need to stop doing whatever you're doing or else like, I don't, I don't know, like they're going to take action themselves. So that's what I'm getting. I don't know. Um, I just wanted to share this message with you guys. I know it's not the most positive, but I mean, it is in a way because we're, I mean, it's showing that it is protecting people who are like of the light, you know, good people that do good things. Um, you are protected, especially if you believe in that. Um, but anyways, uh, if you guys want to stick around, I'm going to go through all my channel messages as well. They were coming through like crazy last night. Um, and some of them were during the dream as well. Like I literally was waking up in the night writing things down. I don't even like know if I was fully awake writing things. So, um, we're going to go through them and see if anything uh, makes sense. Uh, if you want to leave us here, then, you know, please give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. But we're going to go through the channel messages now. So I was hearing something about balance beams, something about support beams downstairs. I keep hearing that. Uh, step right up, car parts. I was hearing Cape Cod, tape record, uh, blinders, something about Costello, which is a hairdresser in Toronto uh pragmatic sergeant also guys in terms of sergeant i saw another vision last night this was before i actually fell asleep there was a vision of uh people in like hard hats but like um like it was like army outfits like they looked like they were going to go like they were running like they were in army outfits with like these hard hats on um so they looked like army it didn't look like construction it definitely looked like army so i just wanted to say that too um i also was hearing balance the checkbook shoes crying in my room lawn care facility something about a church again calling me out for my shit uh braids and someone has braids in their hair something about george washington i do think washington dc is significant somehow i don't know why that keeps coming out now um i was hearing okay back of the church or back of the building something is going on at the back of a building or back of a car i don't know what it is but i keep getting the back of something is really significant here so i don't know what that's about but i keep getting something's going on at the back of the building back of the church maybe it's saying like there's a front uh, for something else going on i don't know but i've gotten that message like every day so i just wanted to put it out there and then in terms of like what i told you guys about sickness uh, when I was like seeing this vision of this person, I was hearing suffering illnesses. That's what I heard. Um, I also heard passenger side door again. That's like the third time I've heard that message. I heard held captive. Um, so sorry for my absence. I was in the middle of a bad marriage. Uh, baritone, bass, something about Georgia, Marriott Hotel. I was hearing Liberace, which is American pianist. And I also, I was hearing full names last night. It was really weird. I heard Liberace and then I heard... Um, another singer i heard james or casey james sorry my cat's running on me casey james which is an american singer um which is so random i don't know where that fits in but they're both artists like one's a pianist one's a singer so i do think there's music involved here um anyway so i mean we've seen that in a lot of readings so i can't deny that music definitely could be significant here um i was hearing vienna again uh something about a car wash a drive-in Tiffany's brunch. Uh, I wish I heard I heard that message a long time ago too, guys. Tiffany's and brunch. I think it's actually like a brunch place. So this could be related to like you and a divine masculine, like a more positive message. Um, I was also hearing leadership programs, something about a nurse, uh, a ship, someone. Yeah. Okay. My other vision was so weird. I don't know what it was last night. I was having the craziest visions. Uh, something about a ship, and then um, after that, I heard a message about someone starting a fire. And I had a message similar to this once before, but last night, like, I had a full-on vision. It was, like, I was in a kitchen, and it was super weird. I don't even, that doesn't even make sense. I, like, spilt something on the top of a fridge. The fridge had, like, um, what is it called? A pilot light on it for some weird reason. Doesn't even make any sense on top of the fridge. And then I don't know why the pilot light started, like, flaming and going up everywhere and going crazy. So I almost feel like... I don't know it's something to do with maybe like a lighter or something or a pilot light somewhere maybe someone something goes on with that or someone's purposely trying to like light something on fire i don't know um but yeah i was getting something about fire um i was hearing photographs so much to say something about rachel again i heard that name uh danver i was hearing which does outdoor kitchens like they like or construct them i think or they offer like all the appliances and stuff um, something about Colorado, I was hearing Take Me, Originate, or Origin, or maybe Oregon, I don't know. Uh, I was hearing Pants Down, 
Uh, something about bay leaves or baileys, like it could have been either. Um, I was hearing bottom of the barrel, which is interesting because I told you guys I did have a vision of someone moving barrels uh, the other day. Um, I was hearing three seasons, carpentry, traveling on a bus or a train. Um, yes, oh yeah, I had another vision. I don't, this is crazy. I don't normally get this many visions, guys. But okay, someone was traveling on a bus or in a train. Um, this was a man. He was like leaning against a window, or obviously, I mean, it looks like a man. Um, and he looked kind of like stressed. Like he was like, you know, when you like lean your head back and look up and sort of sigh, like he was like, <sighs> like that. And, um, yeah, it was like he was, he looked like he was wearing like a suit or something. Like, uh, it could have been like a tux specifically. Um, what else did he do? Yeah, he was reading also. He's reading something like a book, which is funny because we had a book coming out all yesterday. Um, and we have been talking about a masculine traveling and it was like on a bus or a train it looked like he was beside the window. Um, and he also, I don't know why this was unrelated, but it happened like very close to that same vision was I was seeing daisies specifically too. So um, I just want to let you guys know that that's what I was seeing. Um, I was also hearing something about repetition, um, a, a pantogram, which is a sentence using every letter of a given alphabet at least once. Um, so maybe some masculine like wrote a poem or something. I don't know again uh, Like like that uh, something about the Colosseum again, which is like the millionth time I've heard that uh, Something about glasses, which is interesting because we talked about that yesterday. I definitely feel like someone could be wearing glasses or something to like um, like uh, I don't know just glasses like they could be sunglasses or regular ones But I was getting both so I feel like someone could be like trying to like not be seen or something. I don't know. They don't want their eyes seen maybe, but yeah. Um, someone's hiding maybe from this person that we keep getting messages about, obviously. Like I seriously feel like there's like a mask on the run from this person. Like I feel like they're they're crazy guys. I'm sorry to say that, but like they, they just have been a lot. So especially with the energy I felt last night, I was like, I've never felt something like that. So anyways, uh, something about cultural difference as well I was hearing. Uh, Killjoy, I was hearing French immersion. Cape record. I keep hearing Cape. It's like not Cape Cod. It's like Cape record. Cape record, and Cape recording. But then I almost feel like someone might have like maybe someone has an accent because I was hearing Cape Cape recording the video. Cape recording. Cape like so it could be keep recording. So someone's recording some kind of video. I also was hearing tail light is out, and then I, again later on I heard tail light again. Something about the tail light of a car. Uh, drop shipping. I was hearing damaged goods, park bench, south side, east end, call us to book an appointment, curry. I was hearing book a vacation, uh, something about riverside. Um, sorry, my cat. Uh, fallacy, something about a preacher. I also was hearing bariatric surgery and liposuction. So again, someone could be in a hospital somewhere. This could just be like terms around the hospital. Um, or maybe someone is getting weight loss surgery. Uh, I was hearing Wellington, novice student, dancer, breast implants, again, something to do with the hospital. I was hearing warfarin as well, um, which is like a, a blood thinner, actually. Um, yeah, this really is to my own life, too. Not for me, but again, someone I know. Um, balsamic vinegar, I was hearing. Uh, arrangements, uh, bank notice, transfer of funds, back of the car, back of the building, I was hearing it again. Um, Daniels, or Daniel, like the name. Um, I think I heard that in another reading, but it had like a, a last name too, like it was a company name almost. Um, something about caricature, I heard that twice. Left side, passenger side, damage to the right wheel, tire, breaking down. Also, when I wrote breaking down, I spelt it like breaking as in like the car breaking, so that could be a message too. Um, I also this morning, sorry, my cat's climbing on me. I heard breaking, um, breaking, what am I saying? I heard slow down this morning. Someone's saying slow down. So, more stuff about a car, I'm sorry guys, it keeps coming out. Um, I was hearing cabinet, crystal ball. Um, I, I feel like someone is using crystal ball. Like, I keep getting that message, something about that, and obviously I don't, so I feel like this could be this person. Um, something about 12 nights, I keep hearing that. I heard that yesterday and the day before, 12 nights or um, 12th house, something about 12. Um, I was hearing lift off. I was also seeing a vision of on someone's counter having some like uh, pots of flowers, like just pots of flowers on someone's counter. Um, I was hearing taillight again. I keep hearing also Listowex, 
If any of you guys know what that means, please let me know. I don't know what Listoex means. I've heard it for like three weeks now. Listoex. It's like Listoex, Listoex. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it keeps coming out. Also, guys, I was seeing a vision of someone being taken on a stretcher as well. So I just wanted to say that. <sighs> yeah, I hate messages like that. Um, I was seeing someone also looking through a bag or a backpack. Someone was like, going through the bag. Um, like leaning down. Also, I heard cameraman replicate card, Versace, Lamborghini, something about expensive items again. And I don't know why every time I see a car in my vision, it's like a red car. Um, maybe that's significant. Also, I was hearing TV stand, uh, pages from the phone book, um, maybe someone's searching for something, a vacation home in Syracuse. I keep hearing something about vacation home, but we also heard Birmingham the last time, so I feel like just somewhere someone has a vacation home, potentially. One of these locations could be significant, maybe in New York or in um, London, England, something like that. Something about vandalism, defam defamation of character, I was hearing. Um, highway, robbery, highway robbery, system overload, Brianna. I was hearing a lot of B name, Bri Brianna and Bernadette, I heard. Um, banking information, soldiers and hard hats, I told you guys about that vision. Um, again, I was hearing satanic, demonic when I saw this person and my vision. Um, I also, though, w right after this, uh, dream, it's so funny, then I was hearing, like, when all the light came in, I was hearing that song, um, called Stand Up. It's by, Her I think, Harriet or something sings it. It's a really good song, too, guys, but, like, that's the song I was hearing after this, so it was very, like, empowering, I don't know. But I would definitely go listen to that song as well. But it, it's just strange that I was hearing that right after. Um, because I did hear that another day too. Something about a visual arts program I was hearing. Uh, programming. I keep hearing stuff about programming. I also heard source code as well. Um, Washington, again. Uh, something about Minnesota. And also I heard broken glass shards of the window. So, Yeah. Uh, I heard boat tour club in Nebraska. I have no idea. That message was so very specific. I was like, when have I ever talked about Nebraska? That was so interesting. So uh, yeah, and then of course I heard slow down this morning. So those are all the messages that I have, guys. Um, that's it. That's all that I was hearing. Um, it was a lot. I don't know what it was last night. Things were just coming through like crazy. I was just having these weird dreams. I was trying to sleep well last night, but it did not seem to go well. Um, so anyways, I hope any of this is helpful to you in some way. Um, let me know, uh, you know, like the video if it, is, if it resonates at all, or if you like the reading, um, or you just want to support the channel, it means a lot to me. Um, comment, subscribe. Also, I always forget to say turn on bell notifications if you want to be notified of my videos when they come out. Um, also join membership, of course, if you enjoy channel messages like this, that's usually where I post most of them. Um, and additional messages, of course, as well, like extendeds. Um, and then also if you want to donate to the channel, it's the PayPal link in the description box below, or you can donate on the Amazon wish list if you want to donate any of the cards or, um, anything else really means a lot to me, guys. Helps out a lot. I really appreciate it. Anyways, okay, I'm going to end the video here. We'll likely go and do a regular reading today, just letting you guys know, so don't worry. <laughs> I won't leave you with just this message, but, uh, yeah. So anyways, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys later. Right, bye.